What does Y E S spell? Y E S? Y E S. I don't know. <laughs> you say. What does Y E S spell? Wes, right? Wes? Wes? The trick is like people are like spell eyes, right? And then they're like E Y E S spells eyes. Then what is Y E S spell? And then everyone's like, yeah? E eyes? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I explained that whole thing. That was silly. It's yes, obviously. I don't know, sometimes when you get asked questions like on the spot like that though, it's like stressful and you freak out and you panic. Who fought in the Civil War? Donald Trump and Joe Biden. No, no, the Civil War. Donald Trump. Yeah, and Joe Biden. Yes. <laughs> yes. I guess if that's your interpretation of a civil war, then um, go off. But um, I would urge you to take a history class because there's so much more. There's so much more you're missing out on, you know? <laughs> so many more actual civil wars. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and together we are going to be looking at some dumb people answering simple questions. I love it. I love when things should just be straightforward, but they're not. I understand what it's like to panic under pressure. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of that today. So let's get right into these clips. I won't waste your time. If you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be? 10. Are you dumb? You be five. I'll be five. Oh, wait. <laughs> I love that. Are you dumb? <laughs> that would make you second guess everything in the whole entire world. That's hilarious. She really came in hot with the wrong answer. You know what I mean? <laughs> How many countries are in the UK? 27. Can you name one country in the UK? Italy. Yes. <laughs> captions and i like that he smiles so big when he looks at the camera too yes absolutely that's definitely the first the first of the countries in the uk that i would list would definitely be italy agreed i'll give you this dollar if you can name one continent usa oh. <laughs> continent this is like listen i am horrifying at geography like i am so horribly bad at it but like i could have answered that question i feel like what's heavier 200 pounds of bricks or 200 pounds of feathers 200 pounds of feathers it's heavier than the bricks Hey, you know what? Something has got to be said for the commitment to the answer, the confidence, that whole fake it till you make it thing, you know? I love it. I believed him in this moment. Even though I knew in my heart that he was incorrect, I fully believed him. So, I don't know. Can you tell me when the 4th of July is? Oh, it's in the summer. Isn't it? America's Independence Day. Like, what, what we celebrate? 4th of July, when is it? In the summer. What, what's the date? The 4th. Um, the August. I think the August. <laughs> There's no way. There's no <laughs> I honestly love that one. I mean, in the beginning, he wasn't technically wrong, which um, was quite impressive. Impressive. I just call it impressive. It's not impressive that he would know that. He wasn't technically wrong, but, um, you know, when you say the answer in the question, like, your brain is like, is, is it really that simple? Why are you asking me this? But, um, yeah. Do you know when the War of 1812 was? No. Can you take a guess? A guess? A guess station? <laughs> no, no, I guess when the War of 1812 was. Um, I don't know. You don't know your history? My history? That for... Uh, yes. I don't know why that whole situation reminded me of that vine where that guy goes and he's like, who is your favorite Uber driver? And then the person goes, uh, I never went to Uber driver. That's what that reminded me of. <laughs> I don't know why, just zero communication happening, you know? What is Obama's last name? Obama. Care. 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 Like C-A-R-E. Obama's last name, the president. Care. She's saying like Obama. I like that the person tried to explain it and it's like, yeah, we know, but we just can't believe that that's what you think his last name is. You think his first name's Obama and his last name's Care? 
<laughs> and like no one calls the president by their first name unless they're addressing their whole like nobody called him president barack everyone called him president obama you know obamacare hi my name's obamacare nice to meet you <laughs> what animal is uh that tiger tiger yeah, okay a rhino right. kangaroo What is that? The long neck? Uh, zebra. Oh, no, no, no. I know what it is, but I can't think of it right now. These get, they get mighty tough, these questions. What, what is it? A gay lord? A gay lord? Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, like the koala kangaroo, I feel like I could see, like, just, you know, you guess the first one that comes into your mind. They both start with a K. You know, whatever. I can see where that one would happen. But just not knowing the name of a giraffe and calling it a zebra, like I have no idea where that connection came from. You know, and after a second, you'd be like, it's a giraffe, obviously. I remember, sorry, my brain didn't work. You know, sometimes you forget words, but that was on another level. How many oceans do we have on Earth? Ocean? Yeah, how many oceans? Uh, two. Seven. One. Can you name them? No. Arctic Ocean. And. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I bet. Who said. I, I can't believe she changed her answer from seven to one. I don't even know how many oceans there are, though. And I definitely wouldn't have been able to name them all. The biggest state in the United States, land wise, not population wise, land wise. California. California. Okay. Texas or California? Texas. Um, Alaska. Oh, yeah. It's definitely Alaska, right? What's the biggest? What's the biggest? <laughs> These are apparently simple questions. What? What's the biggest state? It would be Alaska, right? Oh, yeah. The state that should be a province. Oh. Nobody get mad at me about that. Who here watching this video lives in Alaska? I wanna know, and I wanna know if you'd recommend it to visit because I've heard that it's amazing. So let me know, maybe that will be one of my post-pandemic travel plans. What is the number one reason why you'll support a Hillary Clinton presidency? She's a woman. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's literally all. Okay, well, I mean, I see the point of view, but I also say that's probably not like the the best reason to want somebody to be president, you know? There's this whole like politics thing that's also involved in the presidency. I know it like doesn't really seem like it, but there is. All right, guys, that's all the clips we have for today. We saw a lot of dumb answers to some questions that should be simple. We saw me not knowing the answers to some questions that should be simple. So who am I to judge? You know what? I can sit here and judge all day, but pot, kettle. You know what I mean? Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, I've been your host, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Wes? Yes. <sighs> Should have gotten comfy before I started filming, but you know, it's just a little too late. <laughs> okay. I think I would have taken a, a grander approach and potentially said North America. If North America isn't a continent, do not put this in. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, clip six. Clip six. There'd be so many feathers. How many feathers do you think it would take to be 200 pounds of feathers? Can somebody do the math on that? Clip six. Or clip seven, holy sh I never did an intro. I was too into these that I never did an intro. Oh, whoever's editing this, I'm so sorry that the intro is coming at clip seven. Once we're all back in the office, I'll get you a coffee from Paris or something. When that's not illegal. After this, coffee. Loved that. Clip 11. Just like a mundane Sunday, nothing's changing, trapped in here. Just gotta break away and leave the old back in there. Come on, let's go. One, two, three.